Hello. Welcome to Bipolar Brilliance. Why do I always seem to be recording these videos from bed lately? I should call it Bipolar Bed. <laughs> I swear I don't spend all day in bed. This is just kind of where it starts to happen. Um, so it's, it's Friday here where I'm at right now at this moment but happy day whatever it is um i'm smiling right now but i'm gonna say 10 minutes ago i was not and why is that because i was getting some strength from a friend somebody who also has lived with bipolar disorder and had struggles and even longer than I have um, had it, it, you know, had the diagnosis and, and, and everything else. And so I guess I just, you know, I didn't post yesterday. I guess I felt like I didn't have anything good to say. I didn't have the energy. And I'm like, that's exactly when I'm probably supposed to um you know it's not all sunshine and rainbows and I don't come on here pretending that it is but uh I guess the point that I want to make today is like the idea of recovery whatever that means for you um whatever illness or illnesses that is um, whatever like program or not program or whatever tools you use it's like we don't have to do it alone and I don't even know that we I don't think we can do it alone um, you know doesn't have to be like some kind of fellowship or whatever this is a we program like I have a, a very good friend and you know who you are but I'm protecting people's um, identities but uh, Sometimes we actually just like it kind of starts almost as commiserating and somehow we end up lifting each other up. If that isn't peer support or whatever you want to call it, then I don't know what is. Um, so, you know, I'm so grateful that I have a friend in this person in particular that like I love and know very well and can speak unedited to and unlike certainly you know my therapist might like qualify for some of those things or my you know psychiatrist might qualify for some of those things they are not sharing with me their personal experience and I would be guessing that they don't have the same kinds of struggles they don't have the same diagnosis they so it's it's different it's all valuable but even just for somebody that just we, we take turns lifting each other up to say hey forgive yourself for your moods you have a mood disorder I would say that doesn't mean that I have to just put everything on that. Oh, you know, I got a mood disorder. It's like a pull that card and have a pass for everything. But, uh, but also like I don't have to be on the other side and just beat myself up if I um, get impatient. Or as the the real world example was that um, my two-year-old accidentally knocked me upside the jaw and I said, ah, that fucking hurt. <laughs> You're only human and you got a mood disorder and it's okay. And it's the change of the season, y'all, by the way, too. And, um, this is a tricky time, I think. I'm going to speak for myself, but probably for a lot of people with mood disorders, it's a tricky time. The days get shorter. We spend more time indoors naturally and and this is like this is like like gray areas potential slippery slope for me um I did turn on my happy light this morning I brought it into the room where we were sitting down and eating breakfast 
and uh, we did not go outside because I let my kid make the choice and they didn't want to. But that's happened a lot this week. And so because I am the grown-up, I still run the show, I might decide to um, just force the issue. Because even when it's cold out, even when it's totally gray and overcast when you're up in Michigan. I love Michigan. I do. I love the seasons. Um, but sometimes we have to work a little extra hard to get that vitamin D, um, to get that fresh air. You know, it's going to take 10 or 15 minutes to bundle up me and a wiggly two-year-old with all the coats and blah, 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 blah. But you know what? We'll get it together. We'll get a routine. Um, you know, we'll, we'll, we'll have, <laughs> we'll have dug everything out and have it right by the door you know it's mostly there right now I just don't wear it don't know where don't have any hats that work for him right now but we're making do and and uh somehow just being out there um really does wonders for the mood and then it becomes like a feedback loop right because if a mama ain't happy ain't nobody happy right and if and if if toddler isn't happy then it's hard for parents to be happy so it's like that feedback loop um and i'm kind of all over the place here um but that's those are kind of my thoughts <laughs> for right now um you know here's the thing if you're new to this channel thank you for making it this far um Sometimes I'm I'm a little more together than this, um, but this is this is me. This is who I am. Um, I'm a mom, a um, a grown up with bipolar disorder, ADHD, in recovery from with co occurring disorders. So that also means substances, addiction, and I've uh, been clean for a little over three years. By the grace of God. I do participate in 12-step um, fellowships because that has helped me. But I've also, I also have gotten help from so many other things like, like community mental health, group support, therapy, psychiatry, meditation, medication, um, exercise, diets. To name a few, um, light and dark cues, color therapy, art therapy, music, movement, listening to things that that feed me positive stuff, reading books, again music. Time in nature, su support from family, claiming a break, getting massages, standing on my head, <laughs> um, taking naps, getting enough sleep, uh, green foods, aromatherapy. crystals because why not an astrology a spiritual connection and reliance on a higher power believing and knowing that everything has always been fine it will always be fine and it is fine right now um which is uh something that jim fortin's podcast put into words for me yesterday but i do believe that in I guess I always really have. So that was just kind of a random um, wrap of many of the things that sort of keep the tools that keep me more or less stable. And I am definitely not a doctor, um, but I have a lot of this lived experience and some health education to boot and experience with with coaching others with behavior change and besides opening a dialogue i also created this channel to help others if you would like for me to send you a list 
of some of the things and apps and tools and self-care practices that have helped me to attain stability throughout my life and continuing as I go up and down through life as a person with bipolar disorder, um, please email me or direct message me. I'm going to leave my contact in the video below. You can email bipolarbrilliancecoaching at gmail.com or you can also find me on Twitter or Instagram and the handles will be below. Life is a journey, not a destination, and it's okay to get help. Uh, 10 years ago, I lost three jobs because of my mental illness. I was on disability, and I utilized the support to complete two degrees and to get, you know, begin working in healthcare and to become a mother to a very healthy child and even to wean completely off of medication during that time. Um, I do take medication again now and that is okay. Uh, I don't have it all figured out and I will be the first one to admit that. I don't give any advice that is meant to be like doctor's orders. If you're in doubt about anything, you should always talk to your doctor first. But take what you like, leave the rest, trust yourself. And finally, I organized my channel now into some playlists. So feel free to scroll through those playlists. They're roughly categorized by like advocacy and day-to-day -day stuff and just kind of like some of my stories um, and thriving in recovery. So if you like this, please, for, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel and share it with your people. Take care, be well, take care of yourselves and each other. Bye.